Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Got a question here asked on LockerGnome.net by BMM2010. And they're wondering, does a class and make or manufacturer of an SD or micro SD card really make a difference? And the answer to that question is yes. I've always believed that you get what you pay for. And if you think you're getting a bargain, you know, having terabytes of storage available in a little SD card for just $5, chances are, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's going to fail on you. You know, usually uh, these types of, uh, I guess, removable media uh, stay relatively in the same price range. And if you pay twice as much for something, sometimes you actually get what you pay for. You get more bang for your buck. So long as the device that you're putting the card in can support what you're putting in there. Now with SD, there are different classes, and I believe it ranges from 2 to 4 to 6 to 10, if I'm not mistaken, and if I look further in the thread for people who've already responded, uh, they'll likely go into you know, deeper detail in terms of the speed that you get from there, because that's what uh, the classes basically designate, is the speed that the SDHC card uh, is going to be able to handle. So a class d a class 2, pardon, uh, SDHC card is not going to be as fast, theoretically, as an SDHC 10, or class 10 uh, card. And sorry for confusing. Basically, uh, the higher that class, the faster it's going to be, so long as the device that you're putting it in is capable of handling that speed. So it could be a law of diminishing returns, meaning if your product, say, is capable of, uh, you know, managing a, an SDHC card, but it isn't uh, able to handle it at a certain speed, well, then you're not going to get all that you're expecting to get, especially if you put a faster SD card in there. Now, in terms of the uh, the make and manufacturer, I'd still, uh, you know, watch out, uh, you read the reviews. There uh, have been some cases where, uh, you know, a certain manufacturer will fail more frequently than others. It's just the way it goes. Either they have a low uh, quality assurance line and uh, they ignore it and they get the products out there for cheap and, you know, people love buying cheap products, but I'm not one of them. I will spend the extra dime to get as much as I possibly can, you know, as much as I can certainly afford. So there you go. The higher the class, the faster the card, and always read your reviews. I say that all the time, and I would not be the only one. So that is the answer to BMM 2010's question. Now, the real question I have is, what does BMM stand for? Hmm. My email address, chris at perillo.com. You're more than welcome to drop your two cents into this thread, uh, posting your thoughts on lockernome.net. Geeks.perillo.com, a greater part of our community. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Perillo or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. And when I'm at home, I'm sitting at my uh, desk there in the, the uh, gnome stead. Uh, you can certainly watch what's going on there because uh, I've got a chat room integrated. They are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.